Hi, I'm Billy Higgins, Radio Production Supervisor at USC Annenberg, coming at you from San Francisco. Now we're going to talk about radio training. In this first video, we'll talk about how to use the Zoom H1 recorder. The Zoom H1 is very easy to use. Basically, right out of the box, you can just pull it out, hit record, and get great sounding audio. But we're going to go over some very specific details to be sure you get your class projects done as professionally as possible. First, let's talk about batteries. The H1 uses normal AA batteries, which is good because you can easily pick some up at a drugstore or a convenience store if you're in a pinch. They aren't like a video camera where they use some kind of weird battery that you have to change and worry about losing. What isn't good is that these batteries might not last you very long. Now a firmware update is available for the H1 Zoom that is supposed to make the recorder consume less power, but if you feel intimidated by doing a firmware update, then just don't do it. In any case, I highly recommend that you plug the recorder into a wall power outlet if you can. You'll be able to do this like if you're interviewing somebody in their office or something like that. So use the provided USB cable and the provided AC adapter to plug the recorder into a power outlet whenever possible. That way you save your battery power as much as you can. Now onward to your recording media. There is a built-in micro SD card inside. Do not remove it. Instead, use the provided mini USB to USB cable to plug your recorder into your computer to download your recordings when you're ready to do so. Next, plug in your headphones. One of the things we want to stress to students is always wear headphones when you're recording. That way if you have some crazy sound happen from random, you'll know about it. More importantly, you want to be sure your recorder is hearing sound at all. Many times we've encountered students who forget to wear their headphones and then discover later that their recorder was not picking up sound when they were recording. Also, you need to hear exactly what the recorder is hearing to make sure the audio will sound good. Human ears register sound differently than electronic microphones, so it is very important to remember to wear your headphones and make sure you hear the sound as you are recording. Go ahead and turn on the recorder now by carefully sliding the power switch and holding until the word HI appears on the screen. Then release the slide switch. Note that the large numbers of the display will tell you how much record time is remaining on the micro SD card, provided that your recording format is set correctly, which is what we will look at next. To make sure the audio format is correct, go to the back side of the recorder. We want you to record in WAVE, so make sure the switch is set to WAVE, because that's standard practice at Annenberg Radio News, NPR, etc. Now make sure the auto level switch is set to OFF. Audio input should be set manually in the professional world, and that's what we're trying to teach you. Now make sure the low cut switch is set to off. You also need to be sure that the recording standard is set to 44 16. I'm not going to bore you with the details of what that means, but just make sure that it's set to that by making sure that the recorder is not recording or playing, and then use the fast forward or rewind buttons to set until you see 44 16. That way you get the most space on your SD card and the best possible recording quality. So even though the H1 Zoom has built-in microphones that sound really good, we want you to be sure to use the microphone from your camera kit. We ask you to do so because we want you to get the professional practice of interviewing someone correctly. And there will be more on that in the next video. So plug in the microphone into the line-in jack on the recorder. Now we are ready to start recording. We will go over more about microphone handling and placement in the next video, but for now, press and release the record button. You should see REC on the display to show you that you are actually recording. Now it's important to note that every time you start a recording, the H1 creates a new audio file or track. You'll see how that plays out when you transfer the audio onto your computer. Now the real trick, audio levels. So very important. Watch your audio level on the display continuously to make sure they are proper. You don't want this meter to be low or your audio will be too quiet and become very hissy when you make it louder. This is what the audio will sound like if you make that mistake. Conversely, you don't want the meter to be going too high or else you will get a distortion effect. Now only first class gets to land. Sounds great with a distortion guitar, but not with this. Whoa. 
Also, remember that just because it may sound good in your headphones, you still have to look at the levels to make sure that they are appropriate. You adjust the recording levels with the input level minus or plus buttons right here. Now about your headphones, let's say your levels look great when you're recording, but your headphones are too loud or too soft for you to listen. Well, you need to make sure your headphone listening level is correct, so you can check it on this knob. Now obviously you're probably going to be recording a lot of audio, so here's a tip to make your editing process as smooth as possible. This is a way to make sure that you can actually find the audio you want very easily once you're done recording and ready to start editing. As you record, take note of what file you are recording to on the display. That way it will be easier to find later when you are retrieving the audio and putting it on your computer. Also, take note of how far into a file you are, as in 10 seconds, 20 seconds, so when you edit, you know where to find the audio you want to use. Here is how you delete audio off the SD card. But consider two things. One, be careful you don't delete audio you want to keep. And two, only delete audio by using the recorder and by following the steps I'm about to show you. Do not delete audio off the card with your computer. So instead, with the recorder turned off, hold down the trash button and slide the power switch to on. After the high disappears from the screen, the screen will say format press REC. Press and release the record button, and again, the screen will say done before proceeding to the standard screen. So that's the technical basics of operating the recorder. In the next video, we'll talk about correct microphone techniques.